Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke. This is part 37. Last episode we got ourselves our third Kanto Gym Badge by defeating Lieutenant Surge with our beautiful Dragonite Sweep. And this episode, we're going to hopefully stick to the theme, continue to get another Gym Badge in episode with Erica. But before we do that, I have a certain Pokemon with us that was mentioned a while back, which is Clefable. And the reason we have a Clefable in our party is because we're about to go and do a trade. And I think trades are a little bit special in this game. I don't know a whole lot, but I do remember there was an item that I wanted to look up before, which was called a Covenant Orb. I don't know exactly how it works, but apparently, if you do a trade in the game, you get a Covenant Orb, which evolves tradable Pokémon? Kinda weird how they've done that, but I kinda like it. So we're gonna go and find that out, and hopefully, also get an Espeon, which is gonna make me happy, because, you know, one of my favorite Pokémon. So, I'm all up for it. And I think it was Pure City and not Mount Moon, right? Was it Mount Moon? That makes sense because it's playable. Wasn't it this guy? Was it this guy? It was this guy. Okay, I remember. Don't worry, my memory can last like two days. Whew, good memory. <laughs> oh, if only I had a Clefable. If you have a Clefable, you, would, you will trade it for my Espeon, won't you? Uh, the fun thing is, I can say yes here when he can visibly see my Clefable and then I could back out and say no. That's kind of funny. But we're going to be going ahead, trading away our Clefable. It's an okay Pokemon Clefable, but honestly, an Espeon seems much more fun to me. So let's go ahead, do this trade. We can't change the nickname that we get, we get to it as <sighs> words. We can't change this nickname. I want to keep it as it is. So hopefully it has a nice nickname. We'll see. Be called Sakura. Go ahead, please. Be a nice name. We're throwing our Pokeballs into the air, into the clouds, where the Lord Rayquaza is gonna toss us back a new Pokemon. It's gonna be great, that's how trade works. But we receive a new Pokemon. It is an Espeon. I just wanna see how good it is. I'm curious, it's called Bexy. That's such a strange name. Why would you call the Espeon Bexy? Okay, how wonderful, you made my day. Thanks to you, I've finally got the Pokemon I've been looking for. Since forever. Jirachi? After the conclusion of the trade, a mysterious sphere appeared in midair. Oh, that is not what I expected. I thought he would just give us the item. So, trade spark items. Joey, listen. I know your Rapture is fabulous. I have another item I want to check out right now, okay, Joey? I've got things to do, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I want to check out the Covenant Orb, because I believe Pokemon like, say, Kadabra evolve into Alakazam through trade. But you can't trade in this game. So... This evolves tradable Pokemon. I don't know if we have any, but first of all, let's check out this Espeon. Let's see what we've been given. We have Bexy the Espeon, it is holding an item, it's holding a Mickleberry. It's a modest nature! Mmm. Ooh, ooh, look at those stats. How synchronized holding a Mickleberry, it's move. Sorry, so there's something in my eye. I could have sworn that said Zap Cannon. Kind of. Hang on, just give me a moment. I... We, ha we have, nope, that's still a blur to me. That definitely doesn't say Zap Cannon. No, that's that's not a thing. No, 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 no. Hang on, maybe, have we bugs? Have we, Blastoise, is that you? Did you? Zap Cannon Espeon with Power Gem Psybeam and Future Sight. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm very confused. I. What? <laughs> Lugia, Lugia, like, get, get out of here. Get out of here, Lugia. Get out. Get out. Get out, Lugia. We don't. We don't need you. Z Zap Cannon Espeon. Zap. I... My head really hurts, okay? Like, a lot. It hurts a lot right now. Zap Cannon Espeon. That's really weird. That's really weird. But before we do anything, I don't want to see if we have any Pokemon that want free trade. We do! We have Graveler. Is that the only Pokemon we have that evolves free trade? I... Technically... Poliwag with... The whole King's Rock into Slowking, but I, 
I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's the same or not, so I'm gonna ignore that. Definitely have Graveler. Uh, none of you have all through trade. Gloom of all through Leafstone and all that stuff. Uh, you're a Moonstone. I think it's just gravel and... Wait, Slowpoke? Who did I say... Did I say Poliwag into Slowking earlier when I meant to say Politoed? I might have done. I actually might have done. So we have Poliwag and Slowpoke. We're just gonna use Graveler though, because it's not a water type. That is a large part of why I am choosing to use the Graveler. We'll go ahead, use the Covenant Orb on it. So this does mean- oh, Graveler, you look so ugly in your Overworld Sprite. Let's change that. Covenant Orb. Use. Ah! Okay! We probably aren't gonna use the Golem, but I like it. I like that a lot. So, we get rid of a Clefairy, and gain a Golem, and a Zap Cannon Espeon. That just screams worth it in my mind. Okay, that's beautiful. Yes. 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 And I don't think you actually have... I mean, your items were... Items. Your moveset was okay because you have Earthquake. But Sturdy doesn't work great in this gen. It works as it's intended to work in this gen. Because it's just not meant to work against every single move in the game. Oh well. That's fine. But still, not bad. We've figured out how to evolve tradable Pokemon at least. That's a step in the right direction in my books. Right, with that out of the way though, and all that excitement over, I really want to take this Espeon with me. <laughs> I really want to take this Espeon with me. Soon, we may use the Espeon. I don't think... I think I have to use the Espeon over the Lugia. Yes, Lugia is without a doubt... I mean, I say without a doubt the better Pokemon. I don't even know. I don't know that anymore. I... I just feel like I want to use the Espeon more, so I'll probably end up using it for a bit at least. We'll see. Maybe just for like a gem battle or something. We'll see. It could be fun. But for now, maybe when we get to Fuchsia Gym, because that would be a poison type gym. So we could take the poison type with us instead of, say, Cradilly or something. Who knows? Something like that. But for now, let's go ahead and continue running through everyone nice and quickly, so we can go ahead... Uh, I'm actually gonna strength this. Because Ninetales isn't a very scary Pokemon. It looks kinda scary, but then you remember it has, like, terrible moves and stuff like that. And then you're not that scared anymore. Unless it, you know, hits... He, unless you hit yourself with, with confusion, like, eight times. Then, sure. But we can actually get an encounter here. Uh, we can also ignore see me all the way over there. They have eyes. They have working eyes. Young couple question. <laughs> anyone that saw those names? Can anyone explain those names to me? Oh, but that, that was beautiful actually. What am I talking about? Uh, I do kind of want to go into Dragonite. I want to get Dragonite to a point where it's just going to destroy everything. It's pretty much at that point, I know, but... Oh, level 65, what can I say? I would love it if it would learn Dragon Claw. That'd be the best. If it could learn Dragon Claw for me, please. Uh, we tank a Leaf Storm incredibly easily. The Signal Bean is definitely going to kill the Shift Tree. Ludicolo, just don't Ice Beam. Just don't. We just like the Archie Berry, because I actually think that's worth keeping on the Dragonite. The only way it's going to get just bopped out of nowhere is if it gets hit by a nice type move. We keep the Archie Berry on, that's less likely to happen. So, it seems worth it. Yeah, there's a little bit less power to, you know, the Muscle Band or whatever else we want, but not dying? Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty damn good. I am a fan of not dying, so I'm gonna stick to what I was doing. We were gonna Wing Attack, take him out nice and easy, create Dilly levels up, which is nice, and we defeat Young Couple, lots of question, lots of question marks. Also known as Lulu. Wait, Lukia? Don't you misunderstand this? It's not that Mo's weak, it's that you're too strong. Look you. How are you speaking through that girl? Do you. I. That's some weird magic right there. I actually want Flareon in front. We should definitely be leveling Flareon. <laughs> it's not a bad Pokemon, I've just been using it less and less, I feel. 
I'm about to, you're you're gonna activate because I'm too lazy to take the shoes off. Let's just battle him. It's probably quicker. It's probably quicker. Uh, we'll just fire fang. Ooh, if I had a superpower, that would just straight up kill. Well, I didn't know that at the time. Now I regret my decision. At the time, my decision was fine. Uh, choice band fire fang though destroys people. Absolutely destroys people. What is the suspicious item? We find TM41 Torment. Okay. Uh, the only way I get an encounter on this route is if I have cut. Yeah, I don't want to put cut on my credibility, so we're gonna go and grab a HM Slave. This might be the first episode where we've slowed things down enough so that we don't just immediately go and do another gym. Please not. Oh, my heart can't take this Electrode stuff. I keep forgetting Electrode is just gonna explode. I really do. Victory Bell, but I'm swapping, because at this point, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, it takes all the happiness out of me so quickly, because I, mean, I just get so shocked all of a sudden. I don't know why, I thought that was a cut tree up there, and I thought, hey, there's an item back there, yet the cut tree is placed so that I can get around it. That's not a thing that anyone would ever do. <laughs> it's not gonna happen like that. But let's go ahead, grab ourselves a cut slave. Who wants cut? Rasta, do you want cut? Does the level 5 Rasta want cut? I don't see the level 5 Rasta doing a lot else for us. So yeah, you can be a cut slave temporarily, I guess. It's not a terrible move, but it's just not better than Energy Ball on Cradilly. And it's definitely not worth a move slot on Dragonite, so not really worth. But I do want encounters, because they are sometimes worth it. If we didn't get that Clefairy encounter, we wouldn't have a Zap Cannon Espeon today, you know? You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it a lot. But let's go ahead. Get ourselves an encounter for this route, which is going to be... Yes! That's the Pokemon I was secretly hoping for! Yes, we get a Growlithe! That's amazing. That's really good, because we don't have many fire types. Like, if we'd have lost Flareon, Blaziken. That's our only backup. Now, we have choices. And this is a route where you can get both Vulpix and Growlithe, I'm pretty sure. So this is a route that I really wanted to come to and to get an encounter on. That's why I made all that effort. But that's really good. That's super good. I don't want to hit you anymore. I just want to throw an Ultra Ball. We're going to catch ourselves a Growlithe. We're just going to catch ourselves a Growlithe. There we go. There we go. I know it's a female Growlithe, but I have a name in mind already, so... I, I don't want to change it. It's the puppy Pokemon. Extremely loyal. It, was, it will fearlessly bark at any opponent to protect its own trainer from harm. It'll bark, okay? Yeah. Screw breathing fire and being strong. It'll bark. And that's intimidating, okay? Growlithe, remember, does not learn the move Growl. Just need to point that out. Because it's stupid. And, you know, I'm still bothered about it to this day. It might in like the 7th gen, I'm not sure. But I know for a long time at least. Didn't learn, didn't learn Growl. So, it's stupid. But this is Clifford the Big Red Dog. Going way back to my childhood here. <laughs> that Pokemon is beautiful. I am incredibly happy to have Growlithe. Honestly, any fire type would have done. But Growlithe, yes. Yes, that's super good. So Flareon, you're gonna come back into our party. It was because we took our fire type out of our party. See, that's what it was. That's what it was. Growlithe, you are a Pokemon I actually wouldn't mind using. So you go into this line of Pokemon that is somewhat viable for me to use. Then we have this line up here, which is kinda, if nothing else is available. This is like, kind of ordered, even though it doesn't look particularly ordered. And then in this box, I guess Pokemon I would use would be like, God of War would be okay. Uh, shiny Fearow, cause it's shiny. We do also have Rapidash. I did kind of forget Rapidash. I mean, we have we have Primeape, we, we have Dratini, which is pretty good. I guess that's about it. That's the Pokemon that I'd be willing to use right there. So uh, these four, in the the closer to the bottom it is, the more likely I, I am to use it. That's kind of how I've got my boxes organized, but at the same time, they're not they're not that organized. <laughs> they're there as it's more like. They're there if I need them. 
At the moment, though, things have been looking up. Things have been looking up. We got ourselves our Route 8 encounter. I never even looked at the route number. I'm glad it was actually an encounter. And it wasn't like, hey, surprise, we made this Route 12 as well. Because, you know, I'd cry. I'd cry if I had to release that Pokemon. I really would. But we're going to go ahead, battle all of these bikers. Biker Zeke is about to get fire fanged. It was Scizor. It's about to definitely get fire fanged. We gain a ton of HP, because Flareon's HP is beautiful in this game. It really is. Flareon fight hell yes, because I have strength and you don't. And he goes down. Our Flareon's the best, okay? Our Flareon is better than all the bikers. That's how it works. Are you going to explode? We can live an explosion. We've proven that. We got the flinch. It's been a while since we've had the flinch. Okay. And then against the Arbok, I'm just going to Earthquake. I don't feel the need to risk anything. Let's just Earthquake the Arbok. Swallow, let's just Earthquake that too. Even though we're intimidated, I think we'll kill. Doesn't quite kill, but good enough because he only goes for Gastro Acid. Muck. Let's go ahead and Psychic. Let's get all of these weak Pokemon out of the way. I feel like the trainers in the region should get stronger the further you go as well. The gym leaders get like one level higher. These guys are not any higher. They're the same weak Pokemon. Why? Can I go through here yet? I assumed not, but I thought I'd check anyway. If you want to go to Celadon, you'll have to take the long route. Welp! That's exactly what we are going to do. We are going to take the long route. It won't open. It's locked. As in, when you say long route game, do you mean all the way to Fuchsia City? That's a long route. That's a long route. They weren't kidding. They were not kidding. Huh. Well, that sucks. Okay. Looks like we are going for a very, very long walk. We got our Route 12 encounter. We definitely went and got our Route 12 encounter. Uh, we surfed around people, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just going to stick to that. I'm going to continue to surf around people, because why not? Do we battle this guy? Yes. Ooh, my memory is coming into play. That's bad things. Route 13. We didn't come down here, and we don't have an encounter down here. So we continue Route 13. All right. Now that I'm back to go up to where we are, which is good, uh, we don't want to bite a Heracross, so we kind of have to swap, but we can wing attack a Heracross for four times super effective damage. Nice, easy, gone. Absolutely gone. Uh, let's put Karmax back in front. I want to make sure everyone's getting that delicious, nutritious XP. Although, to be honest, if I can just avoid trainers, that's the best, because they, at the end of the day, the trainers aren't getting any stronger, and I don't want to be overleveled. Because at the moment, it does feel like things are getting a little bit too easy. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that. We might just get blown back at some point, but it's a little bit. It's a little bit easy, so I don't want that. However, our Route 13 encounter is going to be... Ooh! Ooh! I didn't expect that! I am very pleasantly surprised. I did not expect a Swellow, because Swellow isn't from Kanto. I know there have been other Pokemon that haven't been from Kanto. I just didn't expect a Swellow here. This is like the Bird Keeper's route, almost, it feels like. But, damn. Okay. Don't have facade, and we're good. Simple. <laughs> I, think we, I think we can even live one facade, to be honest, but still. Swallow. Ah. Huh. Huh. Are you guts? Are you... Four damage. Six. I was so close. I was so... I nearly called that. Damn it! <laughs> I really tried. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. All right, can we just catch the swallow? Okay. I don't want to signal beam it. I really don't want to signal beam it. I'm just gonna keep going for ultra balls. If we signal beam it and it like crits or something, it shouldn't kill by any means. It's a resisted base 75 bug move. I mean, it's. 
I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna single beam him. Paralyzed again. <laughs> the Swallow is gonna spend all of its time paralyzed. We're gonna hit him with a single beam. It shouldn't kill. I know it probably won't kill, but I feel the risk, okay? I feel it. It does no damage at all. I'm... Maybe I could've went for that a little bit earlier. But still, I didn't quite want to. So now that you're a tiny bit weaker, I don't know how much this is gonna affect anything. But I hope it's just gonna catch. Right? Nice, okay. That's what I want. Alright. We catch ourselves a lovely swallow. I will take a swallow. So its data is added to the Pokedex. It's Wampels. That's what its Pokedex description should say. Just that. It dives at a steep angle as soon as it spots its prey. It catches its prey with sharp claws. AKA Wampel. That's what it does. It eats Wampel. A day. I'm just gonna stick with a really old name and just call you Ace because it's just, it's just signature at this point. I can't change it. What else can we find here? Need Arena. Okay, that brings back memories. Ow. Okay, fine. Yep. Anything else? Oh, okay, right. I was wondering if there was anything like rare. <laughs> Need Arena and Swallow, the area. Okay. Well, we, we got the swallow. Okay, fine. You know what? I didn't want to check that area anyway. I'm fine with just knowing that there's a swallow. I'm... This is fine. This is fine. I went all the way down this way to get nothing. Nailed it. How did she not battle me? Is it because Amphros was behind me at that point and that blocked the vision? Amphros, you're beautiful. She thought it was just a wild Amphros stalking her or something. Great. That's how it works. Definitely not a trainer with that Amphros. No, 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 no. I want to sneak past this person, but I'm too lazy to take my shoes off. <laughs> so let's just get the battle over and done with. Collect water. Don't let the fire go out. Look out for wild Pokemon. Let's go campfire. C A M P F A R E S O N G song. C M P F A R E S O N G song. Is that the one? That what we're doing now? Okay. Why not go into Sapphire? I don't want to be in the Sapphire. I want to go. I want to be in the Vampros. No! Why wouldn't you go for an Ice type move? Why would? Why? Why did you crit? Why? No! No! <laughs> Why wouldn't you go for an ice type move? Oh no! Why wouldn't you crunch? Why would you go for a water type move against a Dragonite? Why'd you have to crit? God damn it! Why did I go into Cradilly? Cradilly was full health! Oh! Oh, I felt that one. Oh, I really felt that one. Oh, damn it. I got comfortable. Oh, okay. The reason I didn't go into Cradilly is because I expected a nice type move. Why do you do this to me, Floatzel? All the happiness is gone. All of it. All gone. All gone. You know what? Should've taken off our shoes. Should've taken off our damn shoes. Please face the other way. Please? Please face the other way. Ma'am? Ma'am, would you face the other way? I've... I've... Look, look ma'am, my Pokemon's dying. Ma'am, I don't want to battle you. Okay, fine. 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 Masquerade. Okay, let's get in strength. Goodbye. Yep, that's that's great. That's great. Thanks. Thanks for the battle, ma'am. Really appreciate it. If you could face the other way, that'd be great. Okay, bye now. Um. Route 14. Cameron the photographer. He is actually everywhere. Wait. There's two of him.
Nailed it. Okay. Suicune! Hey, Suicune. Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop following the Suicune! Carlos, not again. I'll be the first next time. Having followed it here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune is after. To be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself. But I want to be an honest trainer in front of Suicune. That's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems that... Suicune prefers a hilly place near water. Somewhere north. I don't know exactly where yet. But it will just be you and me. Who will find it first? I'll challenge you. Oh, when you said I challenged you, I thought he was battling me and I got really scared. Okay. Um. Fine. We have a Route 14 and a Route 15 encounter to come back to here too then. Okay, that's fine. I am not too concerned right now about encounters. I just want to waddle on. I just want to waddle on and skip every single trainer. Okay, every single one of them. I... She turned back immediately. Damn it, get your... Get that scum a kiss out of here. Toga scum. Ugh. Let's learn lava. Ugh. Lava plume. I... Okay, you know what? If it's for a spender, sure. I'll battle the spender. That gets a pass in my books. I will always battle the spender. Sure thing. Oh! Was that outrage? Yes? Yes. Because that's 100% accurate, and now we can mess around with that. I would much rather have outrage than Dragon Rush. At least it's 100% accurate. Sure, we can get locked in with it and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, I'd much rather be locked in and know I'm gonna hit and at least kill the target I'm hitting than hit Dragon Rush. Plus, it's more base power. So that's really good. I'm glad we get let in here. If we'd have come all the way down here for them to be like, nope, no thank you, you're not allowed in here yet, then I'd have been mad. Right, Fusha City, okay. Uh, we wanna go to the Pokemon Center. So we can get our electric type coverage back through Zap Karen and Espeon, right? You, you, you feeling what I'm saying? We... I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, this is... Every time, every time, it just... What? I'm like, what? Why couldn't we have had a Bright Powder Miss? Why? Why can't we have- Why did the crit have to happen? I'm still super sad. Do we have a pure electric type we can take with us as an exact copy almost? Not really. What are we gonna take? A Pikachu? I guess we're taking Magnemite. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't take the Magnemite. It's pretty much what I'm after. That feels bad. Look at this box. It's starting to really fill up with power. Oof. So many of my favorite Pokemon are in this box. We have Luxray, we have Lucario, we have Amphros, we have Sudowoodoo. I mean, like what? Oh, the pain I feel. So part of me is like, yeah, let's just take Espeon. And then another part of me is like, let's actually take the Magnemite and level that up. We're definitely gonna level the Magnemite. That's something we're gonna do. That's that's the actual replacement for Amphros right there. It's got the typing, it's got everything we need on it. All that stuff. Do we have anything in terms of like EV boosting items that we can maybe use on it? Not by the looks of it. Okay. I guess we give it the XP share and see what happens. Do you want to give it Bright Powder? Sure... Well, no, we want to give it the XP share for now. I don't I mean to put that on right yet. For now, EXP share, eventually maybe Bright Powder? I don't like Bright Powder as much on the Magnazone, but sure. Do you actually heal me or not? Do you want to heal your Pokémon? Sure. Doesn't look like Cloyster cares about your response. Cloyster, right? 
Screw you. <laughs> Slow folks gonna yawn at me. Okay, let's go sort out this whole place. I can't remember how. These shelters are blocking half the city's facilities, which may not be large, but this is still a humongous inconvenience. Ugh. How do we save everyone? I forget. My grandpa is that my brother builds on Cerulean Cape. Oh! I saw these weird slowpoke when on a cycling road. Slowpoke, you mean. The name is not that hard to remember. Did you want to turn to the gym leader? The shallow situation has caused quite a ruckus. Janine is probably around the city somewhere trying to fix it. Janine, that's who replaces Koga. Fourth gen is like me learning something all over again, in a way. This game. Oof. Just, oh, please. Game, do not die. Oof. Oof. The game is struggling all of a sudden. Oof. Oof. The Shelder are killing my game. That's how they're gonna win. Right. Uh, against a bunch of cloister, you know, a type would be great. That's right, an electric type. We'll put Cradley in front. Fit him off! Use Bug Buzz! Battle is going. I swear this is endless. Oh, hi! Say, you wouldn't just happen to be Carlos, would you? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? I've heard about you from the other kind of Kanto gym leaders, but you've picked a great time to arrive. Or bad, depending on how you see it. I see it's bad. <laughs> we need to get rid of this swarm of Shelter and Cloister. I reckon that if we defeat all the Cloister around town, the gang should pack up and leave. But Nurse Joy and I are preoccupied with this lot. There's two. There's more inside the Pal Park building, so this is going to take us quite a while. Say, Kels, could you do me a favor and try to weed out any of the Cloisters still hanging around the city, please? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Hey, Cloister, how are you doing? The cloister squared up, ready to have a flight. Ooh, 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 let's go. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. It's so beautifully stupid. Get out of here, cloister. Right, that's one. It's a little bit less laggy, yes. Yes, there we go. Fight me. Fight me, cloister. Protect. Good, good time. Good time, cloister. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're weak. Weak. After a shell- after a- what are you doing? Thank you for saving me from the gang of Pokemon, but I was so frightened that I can't stop moving like this. Okay. That's strange, sure. Where is another cloister? Hey, cloisters! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Cloisters! Um... Any cloisters in any, any buildings? No, oh, there's a bunch of A-bombs. Oh, crackers! <laughs> oh, crackers, okay. Have you seen the horde of shelter outside? I... Yes! Oh, crackers! <laughs> oh, it's the simple things that get me. It's the simple things. The shelter is poised, ready to attack. Oh, I actually have to fight the shelter as well. Uh, okay. Wait, is shelter a steel type? No. Is shelter a steel type? Is shelter an ice type? I know shelter's not a steel type. Looks like that cloister didn't want to fight much. Oh. Just beating up innocent Shelter at this point. I feel this doesn't feel good. I don't. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm just beating up Shelters. Like I'm gonna win. Okay. Like this is rude. This is rude. I feel very rude. The tongues are beautiful. We shouldn't attack them like this. It doesn't look like the fighting. It doesn't look like fighting the Shelder did much. So there has to still be more cloisters, is what you're saying. Well, okay then. So I didn't have to go and smack all them in the face. Oops. <laughs> oh, there's no cloisters running the mart or anything. Oh, the Pokemon Center. Yeah, it took me a while. Yeah. I figured it out eventually. I guess. Hey. Battle me. Whoa, this cloister looks a bit different. Shiny claws! Oh, hell yes! I already have a shelter. So. 
I could be more hyped, but still, shiny claws! Yes! Uh, let's go into Carmex, because Carmex can deal with this fight really well. Uh, we can hit you with an Ice Beam and do no damage to you. Yeah, that does no damage. I feel very comfortable doing that over and over. Okay. Let's just keep going for Ice Beam. One more. I don't like how much that did. I do not like how much that did. I don't. Still, Shiny Cloister. Shiny Cloister. Shiny Cloister. Shiny Cloister. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we will go ahead, we will ultra ball the Shiny Cloister. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that there was a shiny. I honestly forgot that this was a thing. I very much forgot. I'm very happy. It's like I just got extra sprinkles on a cake. <laughs> one day I'll stop comparing everything to food, okay? One day. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> the bivalve Pokemon. Close to the live in seas with harsh tidal currents grow large, sharp spikes on their shells. What do we want to name you? I don't know. I don't know what I want to name you. You should be called Sapphire. I want to call everything Sapphire. <laughs> um. What about. Crystal. Why do you have to be a male? <laughs> Why? I don't have any names for this. What about... I don't know. I have, like, pretty names in mind for, like, a nice crystalline blue. Nice pristine. How about we just call you pristine? Again, it feels like it fits more for a female, but I'm gonna roll with it. It's fine. It's fine. It'll do. It's pristine. The not-so-lazy Pokémon fled the scene after the cloister was defeated. Please tell me the Slowpoke just never leaves. I hope the Slowpoke never leaves. It's just no Slowpoke's new home, you know? Still, that was good. Okay, Venomoth, pump up the action! Silverwind! We know two of our Venomoth's moves, just saying. I don't like black screens, they worry me. <laughs> Phew, that should do it. I wonder if I handled that like Dad would have chosen to. Anyway, Carlos? I really appreciate the help you gave us in this sorting the whole situation out. It would be my uh, honor to battle with you for the soul badge. Of course, you don't have to do it right now, technically. Anyway, I'll be in the gym. Don't take too long, okay? Okay. Well, we did manage that. We did get quite a nice encounter, but it's not a replacement. <laughs> I feel hurt this episode. I really do. Ampharos is a staple member of our team. And I'm sorry, Magna. I don't know if you're going to be able to step up to the mark immediately. I don't. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. But we do have Earthquake Dragonite. We do have Psychic Types. I'm going to try and get Magna Zone. That's right, Magnazone, not Magneton. I'm pretty sure we have the item to evolve Magneton into Magnazone, so I'm pretty sure we can get that. Uh, I do just want to remind myself of what item that is now, before I forget. Not save, I want back. Where am I going? Uh, what item am I talking about? What am I talking about here? Not the chill door. None of that. None of that. Orbator? No. The Voltaic Ore. That's the item I'm thinking of. So the Voltaic Ore should hopefully evolve our Magneton into a Magna Zone. If not, then I'll find out how to do that, and we should hopefully have a Magna Zone for next episode. I will try and get the Espeon leveled up as well, but obviously that's less of a priority to me. Uh, Joey, what are you talking about? Good evening, Carlos. It's me, Joey. Were you awake? Always. Hey, do you remember my super cool Rattata? Oh, I do. It's this topic again. Can you just... Can you, can you just stop, Joey? Okay, look, you're a great guy, Joey. You're a great guy, but like, no. And we'll also turn the shoes back on before I forget. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!